how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of Steves. And today, chums, I'm hitting up a portal, mainly because I'm inside of my legacy save right now. And what I want to do is jump on over to this sort of No Man's Sky event that we're doing, the Light No Fire one, you know, whatever it is, Light No Sky. I'm just looking for the old portal code so I can get there in my legacy save because I'm going to build a hub for me, Ricey and Cynical and pretty much anybody else that wants to use it as well. Here you go, I've got the actual code now. Now this should be public already by the time you see this video. So here we go, let's um, activate portal. And let's put in the portal codes. This is how you can get there. Okay, so I need to have a budgie or pigeon, a sunset and a whale, and a boatman and boat face. That's my first four. Next four, I need a Sunday set, a dragon to fly, a uh, black hole, of well, a twirly thing, and an eclipse. That's the next four. The last four, Boatyman Boatface, a double triangular thing, boom, boom, and a waypoint. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom, boom. That's the code that we need. Hook as it is. Right, so now I'm going to jump on through and reach the other side, and that should be the lovely lush planet that we arrive at Kate on. Let's see if that's the case, shall we, people? Happy chow! And I'm in. Right oh, well I've arrived, Decated. Lovely jubbly. I guess I discovered this place, apparently. Yes, I did. Oh, there's Daniel Hipley's base over that way. Very cool. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock onto south, and I'm going to go 2,000 years south, and that's where I'm going to build the actual sort of hub area. So from the portal, it's 2,000 years south. So let's go this way then. Aya! Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, here we go. Let's, let's get over this way then. Meow. And my ship is there, so I just need to go 2,000 U's from my ship. You know what? I might stick it on that big black plinth over there. That would probably do the trick, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm going to get on that big black plinth, and I'm going to stick the base on there. That's far enough. At least it's still sort of like, you know, a viewing distance from the actual portal. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, right, I'll see you on top of that plinth. And you know what, I'll just build the base. Because you don't need to watch me build Well, how do their chums? Well, I've finished building the base. So there's a hut down here with these sort of like robotic hands outside. And there's a little furnace here. A biofuel reactor that you're going to have to power to get up to the actual base area. There's a site-to-site -site teleporter here. I know that we shouldn't really have any sort of electricals or anything like that in this planet. But this is the central hub. And I'm hoping Light No Fire is going to have magic and maybe point-to-point -point teleporters. So... I kind of stuck this in anyway. Right, so here we go. Let's go on over here. Let's go power this up then. So there will be furnaces in, in uh, Light No Fire. I mean, we saw inside one of their houses that they've got like a little fireplace. So this is kind of the equivalent of that. So there you go. I powered it up. Now I can use the magic. Boom! And I've appeared up here. But what is up here? There are three chairs. A red one for moi. There we go. Let's take a little pew. Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. And there's also a yellow one over here. For Ricey, Starship Emporium, because his colours are red and yellow. And then I've done an orange one for Cynical, mainly because he's running around in a golden freaking mask. So I've gone for orange for him. He's in a yellow get-up, but, you know, Rice is already bags in yellow. So there we go. And, yeah, so that's a site to site teleporter. Then up here is the PS to Resistance. Here is our actual teleporter. And that can take us up to the space stations. And the reason we need to get to a space station is to be able to purchase cartography maps. So when we get given quests, we can go get a map from the quest giver. But we're going to have to have nanites to get those. Now, the only way to really get nanites on the planet's surface, on this planet, is to either big, dig up the salvage technology and spin it into nanites, or to hit up machinery and hope that you get nanites. So there we go. So hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves enough nanites to go get our charts, to go do missions. I guess, people. So, yeah, there is method to the madness. Now, the reason that I built this in my legacy save is if you want to come here to this central hub, it's freaking miles away. Yeah. What you need to do is stick yourself in permadeath. When you leave your base to come here, you need to be in permadeath. And every other faction can try and take you out. Now, what I would say is nobody actually stand here and just wait for people to fly in and kill them. Yeah, that, that's just stupid, all right? So 
it, it, just try and catch them on their way. If you see people heading this direction, take a pot shot at them, okay? But yeah, they will be in permadeath. It could completely destroy them and take them out of the game. But that's the sort of risk that you're going to have to take. So I know that when I'm going to be setting off from my base to come here for a jaunt to go get my maps, I'm going to be going into here and I'm going to be going into um, networking and I'm going to be looking at the nearby players list to see if there's anybody here right now that might be able to take me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right now would be a perfect time to go. You can see that it's enabled. It's enabled. So I'll be turning on my PvP and I'll be heading here because there's nobody in the nearby players list. So I should have a pretty safe jaunt. I'm thinking the reason why you need to have your permadeath turned on, why you make your travel here, is it's going to make your heart race a little bit more. It's going to make you plan your travel here. You're going to only use this sparingly. Now, there's free chairs here as well anyway for me, Ricey and... You know, Professor Cynical to sit and have a chat so there might be times where we do like some sort of general discussion where we all sit here and we talk about what the next phase is going to be what the mission should be and we might open it up to discord let people jump in say what they would like to see happen inside of this verse so it's more of a de democratic thing with me Ricey and Cynical as a sign off you know I think this could work quite nice. The little council of three, the trilateral commission inside of No Man's Sky. Anyway, let's go see if my teleport works the other way around. Yes, it does. Heck yes. So yeah, hopefully you like this. So you can see what I've done here. I've built a very crude hand down there. And then the actual base itself looks like the Light No Fire logo. Or well, that's what I've tried to make it look like. I mean, obviously that's a bit small. Now, what would have been really nice up here, people, is if, you know what Zoo used to build? Those giant sort of kaleidoscope things. If we could have had one of those giant kaleidoscope things up here with the teleporter in the center, that would have been freaking magical. Okay, I can't build those things. If you're quite apt and you're quite good at doing that, you can always hit me up at so on social media if you can build one of those kaleidoscope things up here. You can always come and join my game. I give you base building rights and we could always build one of those massive zoo type kaleidoscopes. In Ode to Zoo, but not only that, I think it would be rather fitting for the actual style of the actual base. But yeah, I think, I think the zoo would have been right into this. This would have been right up his alley, to be fair. But yeah, anyways, that's that's the actual base that I've gone for. And now that you all know the coordinates, if you do want to come and join either Ricey, myself or Professor Cynical, I'll put the actual coordinates on the screen right there. So you can jump on over and get involved inside of this event. What I would say is watch all of the rules because you're only allowed to build out of stone and wood. That's the main thing. You can't use your exocraft. You can't use your ship. OK, no technology. So you can't. If you want to join here, it's best to join, maybe come into a creative save and join here that way. Um, yeah, anyway, I've done a video on how to get here. I put a video up there on how to get here. In addition to that video, though, you should go to the Nexus once and go and visit Johnny Five and claim all your Quicksilver bits, all your cosmetic stuff, because this planet has no trees. And what I would love to see happen is when people put down bases is to build little mini forests around them and stuff. So it looks a little bit more like the Light No Fire planet. Other than that, this planet, the terrain on it is freaking gnarly. It's freaking magical. I think Cynical has done a freaking top job in the planet choice. I mean, look at this place. It is a wonder. It is freaking beautiful. It does look like something out of the, no Man, the Light No Fire trailer. We just need some poxy trees and then it would have been perfect. But you know what? Hats off, Professor Cynical. You've done good, my friend. You've done good. Anyway, people, hope to see you getting involved inside of this event. We've got some we've got some loose ideas for sort of events that we can do so far, people. And I think it's going to be quite fun once we get it all sort of established and how we're going to be running this. So anyway, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. I want to say a massive great big thank you for everybody that has got involved so far. I'm seeing so many base computers appearing. I'm seeing factions starting to spawn and come into life. So at some point we will be putting out the first sort of mission quest and mission objective for everybody to get involved in. So yeah, I hope you're as excited as I am. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's... it's... I think this is perfectly timed, to be honest, because I think everybody's been looking for something to do inside of No Man's Sky. Now, what I would say is myself, Ricey and Cynical, we don't own the rights to this idea. If you're out there and you think, you know what, I'd like to do this on my own. I'd like to do something like this for my members and my hub. Do it. 
do it. You know, I, I'd love to see other people spin this up and do their own version of it. You know, if you're a content creator and you think, actually, I could hook up with this person and this person, we could do this. Do it. Freaking hack, yeah, do it. Um, uh, take us as inspiration. Don't have to copy us letter to letter. It'd be nice to see what you come up with and what ideas you have. We might come and borrow some of theirs in ours, you know? And maybe we could grow this out. A little bit of a, a light no sky sort of thing, you know? Why not? Anyway, salute them on though. Take care, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Thank you, Maggie, for backing my channel on YouTube and on Patreon. Channel on YouTube and on Patreon. Yo.